Astronomers and other enthusiasts came from far and wide to stare at the sky. This, they were told, was the best place to observe the annular eclipse, the moon blocking nearly all the sun, leaving a sliver of brilliance that briefly changed light, colours and tones. It's interesting not only to watch the eclipse, but to observe what goes on around it. This place is home to many animals and birds, and we've seen the impact this eclipse has on them. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Unexpected dark clouds did little to dampen enthusiasm. The moon's elliptical orbit means its distance from Earth can vary by up to 50,000 kilometres. Now, at its most distant, there's simply not enough of it to cover all of the sun. It hasn't happened in this part of the world for more than 20 years, an astronomical phenomenon, both fleeting and dramatic, a natural attraction that left spectators staring at the sun. It could only be seen in a corridor 13,700 kilometres long and 70 kilometres wide running through the south of South America, across the Atlantic, to southern Africa. The weather helped. It looked like it would be cloudy, but then the sky cleared and we could really enjoy it with all these people. It was very moving. A total eclipse will be seen from North America in August, but this was South America's turn to witness one of nature's most spectacular light shows. Daniel Schweinler, Al Jazeera, Southern Patagonia, Argentina.